I've got Rahul Bose in Melbourne in the Indian Film Festival and his movie Purna is being screened here. So Rahul, how is Melbourne treating you so far? Well, the weather is spectacular. Uh, it's a city I've always wanted to come to because um, uh, being somebody who's crazy about sport and my two favorite sports are rugby and uh, cricket. And so, you know, being here and this is the footy season, of course, and not really the rugby season, but, um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's really a city that I uh, had picked in my brain as one of the cities in the world I wanted to come to. Notwithstanding the fact that you have one of the finest restaurants in the world, Attica, uh, where I ate last night, um, and it was just a spectacular meal. So really, this you know, this city is um, one of today big, is one of the, uh, the great world cities. I think food and sports go hand in hand, and you've had the best already last night. And rugby, as you said, it's it's it, you you have passion for that, and we have footy passion here. So tell us something about your movie. We saw the trailers; it's spectacular. Uh, as you said, that you know, it's not just mm -hmm. the visuals, it, the content, the story. Mm -hmm. So what what should people expect in this movie? It's just an unbelievable tale. It's, it's a 13-year-old girl. So not even physiologically a boy, physiologically a girl who's poor, undernourished, underfed, undereducated, villager, poor, and on top of that a tribal, which in India means that there are lots of sort of setbacks in terms of where you start from. It, how did she climb and become the youngest girl in history to climb Mount Everest? So how does this person overcome the four greatest obstacles so far still in India to be undereducated, to be poor, to be a tribal, to be a girl and get to where she got to, forget about the skill needed for it. That's the tale. It, so the, the story starts in her hut in uh, Pakala village in Nizamabad district in Telangana and goes all the way up to the top of Everest. Yeah, I think. You're right that you know somebody from uh, the, the, the weather conditions are different and to climb Everest, it's, it's a different thing but actually so somebody's done and she's the youngest girl so I think everybody who, who you know um, likes sport, who likes something adventurous, number one, I think next is uh, women empowerment, I think that's what you are doing in this movie. Sure, I, I didn't have to do anything, it's, it's the, that's the real life story. Uh, it attracted me of course the, the larger thing about this film attracted me was that there's a system for everything in India. But the system never works. But if the system works, it can take a poor, uneducated tribal girl from the hot flatlands of Telangana and put her on top of Everest. There's no sponsor, there's no private, it's all government done. And a very visionary government servant who was in charge of the entire initiative and the department, Dr. R.S. Praveen Kumar, made it happen. So when the system works, it works magic. It doesn't look at religion, doesn't look at gender, doesn't look at income, doesn't look at caste, doesn't look at creed, doesn't look at color. It just works like magic. So if only this happened every day, well, what a fulfilling and joyous place it could be for everybody. So how was the experience shooting in Everest? Like, I think it's very difficult. It's not a set. I think you'll actually, is, how, how did you all do that? Well, uh, we got footage from the summit of Everest because we would have died if we'd gone there. Especially my film crew, then the smokes and drinks and things, they would not have survived halfway up. But we shot at um, about 15,000 feet in January in Sikkim to simulate the summiting and all of that stuff, mixed with real life footage from the, all that footage from the summit is all real life footage, mixed with that. And uh, it is equivalent to being base camp in Everest on Everest in the summer, which is June. So we actually uh, froze our backsides off. We had uh, three hours of light every day. We would climb at least 1,000 to 1,500 feet every day, thigh deep in snow. Uh, we had to, I had to hire 92 uh, snow suits from the Himalayan Mountaineering Institute of Darjeeling. Uh, the roads were covered with ice. Uh, cars were sliding all over the place. It was the most harrowing shoot of my 24 year career it was it was incredibly difficult but it pays off because you know that wow i mean you feel you're there mera naam purna malavat hai 
I am the youngest girl to climb Mount Everest. Purna was asked in her second interview when she came back off the summit that why did you do this? She answered in Hindi, because I wanted to show that girls can do anything. So this is, that's the line of the poster, that's the line of the film. Girls can do anything. And that is Purna's line. So even today, she doesn't want to go to the South Pole and North Pole necessarily. She wants to become an IPS officer and serve kids because she wants to prove that women can do anything. So it is, you're absolutely right. It is the most extraordinary tale of a girl setting, setting her life and setting out to prove that women can do anything. Look, Purna, if you want to go back, you can go. But remember, girls can do anything. That is for the movie. For me, I want to know what does Raul Bose do when he's not filming, what he's not doing? What is his favorite pastime? Well, um, I used to play rugby for India for 11 years and uh, I'm going to be playing this year, in fact, two weeks after this. So it's uh, rugby and occasional bouts of tennis. I learned basketball last week for the first time in my life. I trek, I play squash, which is my racket sport. I swim. Um, I run and I, you know, I do my plyometrics and training on the ground. So that's all of that. It takes a lot of my time. Um, I also uh, uh, have two NGOs. One is on uh, child sexual abuse called HEAL. The other is called the Foundation uh, on underprivileged children from underserved areas of the country who we give education to for 17 years each. Uh, so tho those two NGOs take a lot of my time. Aside from this, um, the occasional piece of writing that I do for magazines, whether it's travel or satire or socio-political stuff. But the last month I've taken to write my script, my new script, which is now ready. Second draft is ready. And uh, I'll be making that film by April, hopefully next year. And it's a um, one woman story. It's not a biopic, it's fiction. Yeah, that's good. We'll be waiting for it. But have you, what was the last meal you have cooked? I haven't, I've never cooked in my life. I've only cooked one meal and that has been the um, grilled chicken breast okay. with soya, honey and ginger. I only say it because Melbourne, you know, cooking and... That's, that's the one thing I've done. It wasn't bad at all, but I haven't gone back to the kitchen. That was about four weeks ago. Uh, but I, 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 will, I will go back to the kitchen when I'm alone and nobody else has to try my food. <laughs> nah, I think you'll be good after eating last night's dinner. You'll get some inspiration. Now, um, what was the last searched um, page on your mobile or web browser? ESPN Crick Info. Okay, so you're into cricket, yeah. Obviously, you have the interest for the sport. And uh, I think, uh, thank you very much for giving us the time. And Purna, people should go and watch it. It's a really good movie. It's a mainstream movie. It's not an art movie. And uh, it's about women. They can do anything. And uh, Indian Film Festival is here. And you know, we're going to have good fun in the awards night. There's a whole week of uh, festivities. And we wish you all the luck for the movie and uh, other endeavors in the future. Thank you so much. Very nice. Thank you. Thanks.